Hi guys, Mr. Hill here with your English lesson for today. So we're going to start looking at the Vikings in our history. So we're moving on from the Anglo-Saxons and we're looking at the next group of invaders that came to our country and started shaping Britain. We're going to be looking at writing a non-chronological report. Now we've already done this. We did our rainforests and boreal forests earlier in the year. So we're going to see what you remember from when we did that, but we're going to do that at the end of today's session. What I wanted to do with you first, I've got a bit of grammar just to have a go through with you. So we're going to look at using the past tense, so expressing actions that have happened in the past. So simple past tense. The past tense describes something that took place at a specific time and has finished. So I walked the dog yesterday. So something that took place was I walked the dog. The specific time it took place was yesterday. Past perfect tense. The past perfect describes an event that was completed in the past before something else happened. I had walked the dog by the time my mum got home from work. So the something in the past was that I've walked the dog. The something else that's happened is my mum got home from work. Past progressive. So the past progressive describes actions that took place in the past over a period of time. So I was walking the dog when it started raining. So you were walking the dog while it was raining, but that's all happened in the past. So some top tips for you. Generally, when we're talking about past tense, we add ed to our verb. So walk, so I will walk, becomes I walked. Talk and talked is also the same. Most of our verbs will follow this rule. There's a few exceptions, so you need to be careful for those. The past perfect tense. So it's something you've already done. So I had walked the dog. So I finished that, it was done, and I'd done it before mum got home from work. So we quite often will have had in there to tell you that it's already finished. Past progressive. So I was doing something. So it's telling you, so that it's, uh, describes an action that took place in the past and over a period of time. So I was, so looking out what you're looking out for to help you with work out what these are. Past tense on its own, you add ed. Past perfect tense, I had, so had is the word you're quite often looking for. Past progressive, was will be the word you'll end up looking for in those sentences. You'll need that again in a minute, so you maybe want to take a quick note of that. Pause the video if you're going to. Okay, got your notes? Let's move on. So, have a look at these verbs. Which of these are written in the past tense? So what I want you to do, just make a list of past tense words. So all of these that are in the past tense. Pause the video here. Okay, done? Fantastic. So if you got written, well done. So this is one of the ones that is the exception to our rule. It's the past tense of write. So some of them you need to be careful with. We've got finished, well done. Broke, so that's the past tense of break. So this is another one that's an exception to our rule. Sniffed, it's got the ED on it. So we've got two on there that have got the ED and we've got two examples of words that don't follow the rule because you wouldn't have write and righted and break and braked. So we're gonna match the verbs in the simple past to their correct form in the progressive past. So we've got began, so I began to do something. Laugh, I had to laugh. Caught, I caught a fish. So we're going to put these into the progressive past tense. Have a go, see how you get on. Pause the video now. 
Okay. How did we get on with that? I'm sure some of you found it easy, and I'm sure some of you are sitting there going, hmm, I need a bit of help with this, which is absolutely fine. That's what we're doing. We're showing you how it's done. So began, becomes beginning. So we need to think back. I'm going to begin doing my lessons. I began do my doing my lessons. When I was beginning my lessons, something else happened. So that's how it needs to work. So we need to think back to what the present tense of the word is to then be able to work it through to find our progressive past version. So it takes a little bit of thinking. Laugh, laughing. Now caught is catching. So this is one that's not doesn't follow the rule. So I can catch something. I caught something. I was catching this when that happened. So some of these don't always follow a logical order. So you need to think back to the present tense in some cases in order to work out what the progressive past tense would be. So we've got two of them there. We've got began and we've got caught. So began becomes beginning and caught becomes catching. So just be careful that just putting ing on the end of a word doesn't always make it right because courting the way it's spelt on the screen there i'm fairly certain if i went and found a dictionary and looked in it is not going to be in there so you've had a go at these now it's your turn to show me what you've learned have a read through these sentences so we're going to identify the tense used in each sentence. So sentence one, Jenny played basketball on Saturday. Sentence two, I was flying a kite when it started raining. Sentence three, they went home after the match. Sentence four, we were baking cookies for almost two hours on the weekend. Sentence five, the shop had closed 10 minutes early, so we couldn't buy any milk. Sentence six, I had done two pages of my homework before my dog ate it. So those are your six sentences you're going to have a go through. So you're going to try and work out, are they past perfect, past tense, or past progressive? Now, if you feel like you're getting really stuck and you're really confused, rewind the video a couple of minutes and have a little look to refresh your memory. Pause the video here to complete your work. How did we get on? So don't worry if you went back. This is it takes a bit of getting your head around this. So number one, what did you have? So if you said past tense, you would be right. So play. I am going to play is the present played so we've got the rule there ed that puts us in the past tense i was flying a kite when it started raining past progressive so i was doing something when something else happened number three they went home after the match that is our past tense number four we were baking cookies for almost two hours on the weekend. It's our past progressive because it tells us, it gives us the time. Number five, the shop had closed 10 minutes early, so we couldn't buy any milk. Past perfect is that one. So something had happened. So if we think back to our rules, ED on the end of the verb gives us past tense. Past perfect generally has had something and past progressive gives us a time when something happens so something happened after something else number six i had two pages of my homework before my dog ate it is of course past perfect right your cold task now 
can you write a non-chronological report? So an information text about life in lockdown. Try to remember what we did when we wrote about the forests. We had certain features we used. Obviously you don't have your books to look back into. So I want to see how much you can remember from when we did this before. Now I know you all produced some amazing hot tasks at the end of that. Let's see if we can have some amazing cold tasks. So about the things that you've done since we've been in lockdown. Think about how you're going to arrange your non-chronological report. I look forward to seeing your work on Tapestry as the week goes on. Stay safe, look after yourselves, and I'll see you again soon.